with my mic on. Not prepared. Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Uh, this is your April 2021. <laughs> Completely lost my thoughts, uh, my train of thought. Um, this is your April 2021 uh, love reading. So this will be about love. It's a general reading, so you know how that goes. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel as, as you listen to... Okay, I'm all over the place. Um, if you feel like getting in contact with me, the links are below. You know, go over to the website. You can also text the question. All right. Sag. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on for Sag in their love life? Sagittarius. Oh, very nice. Four wands. So uh, it may be going very well. Uh, domestic bliss. Some of you, uh, you could welcome something in your home, a new baby or new home, new car, something. It's going very well for you. Um, some of you have home business and that's uh, doing well too. Uh, love life is going well. Uh, you could have reunited, reconciled with someone, or just a reunion here. Uh, maybe a coming back together with someone. It looks uh, harmonious for the most part. It looks like you have roots with this person, good or bad. Um, you feel like you're at home with this person. Um, I don't know if this is the mother of or they're a mother, but, it's, but it looks good. Or you're a mother. So that's... You can't really go bad with the four of wands here. Yes, yeah, stability. A firm foundation here. You guys did something together or you're doing something together. Let's see how you feel about the connection, Sagittarius. Nine of wands. Okay. So uh, maybe at one point you felt like it was a rocky relationship. It was uh, up and down. You were even questioning if you should fight for this, if it was worth going to bat for, battling for, um, or you might be at that place now. Um, you're still on edge. You're still undecided. Uh, you're not 100% committed here with the nine. The, nine, the nines talk about uh, solidarity. It talks about singular. It talks about... Um, something being, you know, at its end. Hmm. It talks about completion, too. Maybe there could have been a lot of up and down here, um, in and out. We're going good, and they were not going good, and they were out, or somebody's leaving and coming and going. Somebody was just not committed, or, uh, and not even saying committed in terms of, oh, they were with everybody, but they just weren't committed to staying. Stand put. Uh, let's see. How does your person feel about the relationship, Sagittarius? How does your person feel? The devil card. So they feel like it's toxic. Or it's codependent. Or it's addictive. It's addictive in nature. It has an element of being not good for them. They feel like if they make the choice to be in this with you um they're going to be stuck they're going to be bound they're going to be tied to you or tied to this connection uh, yeah they feel like they don't want to be too extravagant with their emotions and their choices they want to be very um concise and maybe minimal they don't want to go above and beyond because they just don't know. Because once again, the relationship is rocky or it has been rocky or there has been addiction here that rocked the relationship here too. Someone feels like somebody's still addicted to a person, place, or thing. All right. Okay. So what's the outcome for Sagittarius in their person? What's the outcome for Sag? What's the outcome? Okay. Wow. Okay. So the strength card. So 
forgiveness, but okay, bravery, courage, being courageous enough to forgive each other. Um, forgiveness and compassion and taming yourself. Someone has to tame the, I don't know, the station, I don't know, someone's got a, an appetite for something. I don't know if somebody needs to tame themselves in terms of their finances or their resources. Someone needs to tame themselves in, in terms of sex, sexual addiction or, um, you know, being too involved in, in pleasurable things. Uh, someone needs to tame themselves in terms of uh, violence and violent outbursts. Someone needs to tame themselves and yeah, in terms of uh, somebody's got to let the ego die too. The ego has to die. There needs to be a level of intimacy here in terms of um, the person really wants to know you. You could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You could be dealing with anyone, but somebody who's stable, rooted, grounded, um, the mother of or a mother, mother, this could be the mother of your children or the mother, somebody you want to be the mother of your children or you are the mother of their children, Sag. Somebody needs to tame themselves because they're out. Of, they were or they are out of control uh, in terms of some addictive substance, person, place, or thing. Don't know. Um, somebody does was doing too much of something to where it it brought the relationship down. Somebody was doing something mysterious here. Also, there's mystery around the other person's money. Let me get you a card of advice here, Sagittarius. It looks like you can reconcile with somebody who you had a tough past with, basically. All right, or you have reconciled with them. It's nothing that you can't get over, but do know, you know the problems. Um, I guess the devil you know is better than the devil you don't, right? I guess. Four of Pentacles, yeah. You feel like um, this might be a toxic situation that you feel stuck in. Something about money and, you know, it kind of bleeds you. Or this person always wants money or large sums of money or... Or, or this is how they feel about you. Somebody feels like they're stuck in a toxic situation where somebody tries to put their will on them. You do this. I will. I want this, and you know, maybe exert them, themselves, their power, trying to dominate, overpower the other person. Once again, trying to put your will on the other person. I don't know who is doing this. It could be in terms of sex and manipulation. Maybe even magic here. Somebody is like pumping somebody for money. Good luck, Sagittarius, uh, in April. Um, thank you for being here. If it resonates with you, go over. You can uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can go to the website, book your own reading there. You can text the question to the number below. If you felt like you got something from the reading, you can always donate. You can always uh, let the exchange happen. You could buy me a coffee. The link is in the description box. Thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings.